Welcome to Podnuts Daily for July 8th, 2008. Did I say July 8th, 2008 yesterday? I might have. If I did, I'm sorry, because that's today. Uh, July 8th, 2008. Let me just get right into it. Oh, actually, I do want to make a little quick announcement here. Yesterday at my favorite store, no, a couple days ago, at my favorite store, Micro Center, um, I picked up a copy of Final Cut Express. It's version 3.5. But I heard that 3.5 has more features or a lot, like a, a couple of programs that version 4 doesn't, like soundtrack and um, I think the live text thing for making titles and stuff. Anyway, it's video editing software uh, for the Mac, and it usually runs about 299 bucks. and I don't have that kind of money. But they had on the clearance rack this uh, copy for $71. And then as I'm there, standing there looking at it, the guy comes over and says, you know, everything on this rack is 15% off the price. So I brought it down to like 60-something. And um, it was missing one of the content CDs, but for that price, gosh, I mean, I bought it because I'm going to be doing a lot of videos. Um, I'm going to make those laptop videos, laptop repair videos. And I'm also going to practice using it to uh, make an introduction to the pod nuts that you guys are watching on Ustream. So I have a cool video introduction with maybe some music stuff like that but um just another plug for micro center man i love that store always find these great deals these gems it's 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 like christmas when i find stuff like that okay um on the topic of mac i do want to go over the mac job first so nobody tune out i'm gonna just go over this real quick um it's a mac mac uh problem i had Went to a customer's house. She has a MacBook. Okay, uh, her company only has this this uh, software that uh, or or some web based interface that could only run with Internet Explorer. So they bought a copy of Parallels, which is a virtual machine software where you can install Windows XP on your Mac, your your Intel Mac, and run that along with Windows. I mean, uh, with Mac OS X. Now there's two programs that can do this. Well, actually there's a couple, but there's two different ways of doing this. Uh, OS X Leopard comes with a program called Boot Camp. And Boot Camp basically uh, part- makes a partition on your hard drive. You install Windows XP on that partition. And then at startup, you tell the computer, your Mac, whether you want to boot into Boot Camp or boot into Windows XP or boot into Mac OS X. That's Boot Camp. Parallels is different. Parallels installs itself as a file on your computer. So you can actually run Windows XP, which is in that file, as you're running OS 10, so you could have Windows XP opened in a window and OS 10 running on the outside, and you could actually swap files back and forth between Windows and OS 10 just by dragging and dropping from back and forth to the Windows. It's pretty awesome. And then there's also a feature called Coherence Mode, I think, which installs the Windows XP Start um, the taskbar on OS 10, so you could have Win. So it looks like OS 10 with a Windows taskbar, and you also have the the Mac OS 10. Um, what's that thing called? The dashboard, not the dashboard. What's that thing called? Hang on a sec. The dock. The dock. I can't believe I forgot that. So you have the oh, the uh, Windows XP Start uh, taskbar and the OS 10 dock, and then if you use, if you click on the taskbar for Windows XP, you can open Windows applications. If you click on the dock, Mac applications, and it just it looks really cool. It's awesome. Um, Anyway, she's been trying to install Parallels and get her data from her old Dell onto the Mac, but she installed it, I believe, using uh, her original disk that came with her Dell. And you can't install that on your Mac because the Dell versions of Windows XP don't use um, the 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 Certificate of Authenticity, those numbers, the product key. Um, most Dells. They actually install the operating system and then wait for activation. You actually have to activate over the internet. So her copy's not going to activate if she's using it on Parallels if it's also running on her Dell. So she probably will need to buy a copy of Windows XP. Um, aside from that, well, anyway, I went to install Parallels and it was giving me all kinds of errors, but I, I didn't really deal with it. Uh, I'm going to work on that tomorrow. If I have any questions for you guys, Mac guys out there to help me out with that, I'll let you know. But another problem she had is uh, she, her wireless network wouldn't reach down to like um, her second floor or her, her, her living room area, and her, her router's up on the second floor. Um, so I was going to buy her a router. Now, the Mac, new MacBooks have wireless N built in, so I was thinking about getting her a wireless N router. Want to know what you guys think about um, what your favorite routers are for distance and for speed and just you know general um, 
you know, a general review, general rating, what you guys like out there. Um, Link Sys, Netgear, which ones, which the wireless G, the wireless N, what have you had success with? Because I'm going to get be getting her a router yes, tomorrow, and I haven't had too much experience with the N, and I don't want to stick with G. I, w- I need something that has to go a far distance. So, you know, if you want to call in after the show or send me something, um, let me know what you guys like as far as routers. I'm open to suggestions there. Um, one of the reasons I don't deal with the routers too much is I, I don't go out and do on-site jobs hardly anymore. I stay in the shop, so I don't have too much, um, you know, interaction with setting up wireless networks anymore at, at residential houses. So I'm open to suggestions there. Okay. Uh, I had an, a Dell desktop that came in yesterday. It's about five years old. Um, the customer's getting the how.dll error where right at boot up it says that that file is corrupted and can't be read or something like that. Now, there, I, I mentioned yesterday about the fix on Microsoft's website to handle that. Well, we ran that fix today. It was in the Microsoft, the Microsoft Knowledge Base article. And as we're doing the fix, we get to a certain point to try to do it, the fix. It says the hard drive is um, – it won't – we can't do this fix because the hard drive is corrupted. Suggests running check disk. Well, we ran check disk. Still didn't work. Um, we didn't run check disk slash R, but on a couple jobs before this, I had the how.dll error. We tried to run the fix from the Microsoft Knowledge Base article. It told us to run check disk. We ran check disk, and it worked. This time it didn't. So um, he had some very important QuickBooks articles on there. So before we started messing around and trying to recover his files um, with check disk slash R, I just booted not from Nopix and went in to try to recover his files just to have a backup of those files in case any, you know, check disk slash R um, deleted something or, or caused something to go away forever. Um, so we ran Nopix, which is a, a great way to um, just pull files off of a hard drive that you can't, that Windows sometimes can't recognize because we hooked, we pulled off the hard drive and hooked it up externally to a Windows machine. Windows didn't even recognize the hard drive, wouldn't even assign it a drive letter. In Nopix, we could see it in the directories and we could see the files. And even though it took about three minutes for every, every time we clicked the mouse because the drive was just so messed up, we were able to get the majority of his files off using Nopix, get them to a safe place, and then you could actually go in and operate on the hard drive. Um, just another plug for Nopix there. It's, it's sometimes Linux uh, will definitely do the job. I'm still try- waiting to try the Ultimate Boot CD. I heard that has a, a nice interface, but um, I'm happy with Nopix so far. Okay. Customer came in with an almost new computer. It's a Core 2 Duo. He got it at Micro Center. They built it for him. He brought it back to them like five times. The computer's still under warranty.